This is definitely a Chamber of Commerce day for West Michigan. Just perfect outside. It's beautiful out, <laughs> George. I hope it stays like this, especially for Coast Guard Festival. Uh, I think it's going to remain this way all the way through the weekend. We'll take it. A lot of folks heading over to Grand Haven, other destinations as well with very comfortable weather. 13 weather ball is red. We have even warmer weather ahead heading into the weekend around the area. Lots of sunshine, bluer skies today than the last several days as we're losing the haze and will stay nice and sunny throughout the next several days. Temperatures have climbed into the mid and upper 70s away from the Lake Michigan shoreline. Dew points have dropped into the low 50s compared to what we've seen earlier this week. They're down about as much as 5 to 12 degrees lower today or drier. Out on Lake Michigan, one to two foot waves at the buoys, but they're virtually flat right at the beaches, so everybody is in the water. Water temperatures are generally in the mid and upper 50s to near 60. That's because those north winds uh, brought up a lot of cold water from down below, but those will recover as they move up from the southern end of the lake. And fewer cumulus clouds today, just a few fair weather cumulus clouds right here on the lake breeze. You can kind of see where that wind comes inland uh, and it just uh, pushes together and goes straight up and that's about it. High pressure is in control of our weather pattern and it's just keeping everything nice and comfortable. That will happen all the way through Sunday. Current temperatures are in the upper 70s with all the 80s and 90s back to our west. We won't see those anytime soon and all that dry air has come on through. So we're in the 50s with dew points. All of those 60s and icky 70s are back to our south and west. Overnight will stay clear. You can see the center of the high right over the northeastern part of lower Michigan and then it moves to the east of us. So our winds turn around to the south on Friday, but we stay sunny and those southerly winds are going to start to bring up our temperatures. So we'll be warmer here during the day. Saturday, lots of sunshine, few high clouds perhaps, and then some high clouds coming in on Sunday morning. But it looks like now the rain is going to hold off until Monday or Tuesday of next week. And we can see that in our precipitation forecast. It's going to be Tuesday night when it ends. That's early Wednesday. There is a chance of some showers next Friday night into Saturday morning. That's where that big bullseye or that spike occurs on Saturday. Dew points going to stay comfortable until next week, and then they'll be in the 60s and 70s. So a very humid summer like end to the festival. Six to 10 day forecast calling for high chances for warm temperatures to continue all the way through August 4th. And in terms of precipitation, higher chances that we'll have more rain also during that five day period. Tonight, clear, virtually no haze, mid and upper 50s with a light north wind. Clear skies north, mid 50s here, very comfortable. Have those windows open once again. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, overnight lows between about 55 and 58. 13 on your side forecast. Climbing from 82 tomorrow, warmer than today. 88 on Sunday, low humidity all three of those days. Humidity returns, yeah, and then some starting on Monday all through next week. There's that 60% of the area seeing a pop-up shower or a thunderstorm both Monday and Tuesday, done Tuesday night. Then after that, just a very warm summer-like weather. Time to head to Coast Guard and the beach uh -oh. and the pool and all those warm weather activities. The beach is right behind us. This is a live look from the Grand Haven Tower Cam. So pretty. Ooh, lots of people out there enjoying it too. <laughs> well, I like it. Thanks, George. Uh, the air has certainly felt uh, better here the last 24 hours as those dew points have dropped. The skies have cleared out from the haze and it's been a lot to bluer in the sky. The 13 weather ball is red, looking good up against that blue sky. That red weather ball means we have even warmer weather ahead. You're going to walk the dog. This is Ellie. Nikki, I'm going to give you the green paw this evening with comfortable temperatures under clear skies, falling from the 70s into the upper 60s by 10 o'clock. Uh, early tomorrow, lots of sunshine after sunrise with upper 50s and low 60s. I'm sure Ellie's going to enjoy it. 8.5 out of a 10 point scale for sunshine tomorrow, more than what we saw today. Create that green energy here in the state of Michigan. Winds very light. So those uh, wind turbines uh, not getting a workout here next couple of days, thanks to high pressure building overhead. Uh, because the dew points have dropped, there's fewer cumulus clouds today. Uh, most of them are well to the east of the state of Michigan. High pressure nearly overhead, right over north.
northern Lake Michigan for the most part, and that's going to keep all of the precipitation at bay for the next uh, several days. Hour by hour, clear skies tonight as that high moves uh, further to the east, and then the winds turn around to the south on the back side of that high during the day tomorrow, so plenty of sunshine. As you can see, clear skies here tomorrow night, and then looking at more sunshine to start our day on Sunday, and we're going to keep the rain out of the forecast now for Sunday, so all weekend long looking pretty good. And this is all the rain that's going to be falling between now and Sunday evening, uh, just uh, trace amounts south of the state of Michigan. Forecast high temperatures up into the low 80s tomorrow, a little bit warmer than we saw today. Look back to the west, some 80s and 90s starting to get a little bit closer. We'll be in the mid 80s on Saturday and then upper 80s during the day on a Sunday. Our long range outlook is calling for high chances for warmer than average temperatures uh, starting August 2nd through the 8th, first full week of August. And in terms of precipitation, we have an equal chance for more or less. It looks like the storm track is going to be just off to our south and east. So for tonight, we're looking at clear skies, overnight lows in the comfortable mid and upper 50s. That's when you can have those uh, windows open overnight. Uh, mid 50s up north, we're turning off the air conditioning with a light north wind this evening. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, lows between about 55 and 58, including 57 here in GR. 13 on your side forecast. Sunshine all the way through Sunday before those high clouds come on in. Temperatures going up by 2 to 3 degrees each day. 82 Friday, 85 Saturday, 88 on Sunday. Uh, next week, the humidity returns actually Sunday night through all of next week. And we will see uh, about a 60% of our area with some pop-up showers and storms. I think most of those will be in the inland areas. And again, on a Tuesday, we'll lose our chances then uh, for uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, later on next week, following weekend, uh, looks like there might be a chance of rain the following Friday night, but all the way around looking great. Oh, not, not a bad forecast <laughs> there. Thanks so much, George. And George, you're going to be out there all day a week from Saturday for the parade and the band. Uh, that's right. I'm doing a yachtly crew on the uh, final day <laughs> of Coast Guard USA. That's your tradition. That is my tradition on my farewell tour. It should be a blast. Absolutely. The next several days are going to be great, comfortable, warm, just what you would expect for the kickoff to the Coast Guard Festival. 13 weather ball is also rad. We have gradually warmer but still comfortable weather ahead into the weekend. Highs today climbed into the upper 70s away from the lakeshore, making uh, 78 here in Grand Rapids. Below our average high of 83, we'll take that with the lower humidity. We forecast 79, still a chance that we could hit 79 this evening. Nine days in a row where we have been within our target range. Try to get within three degrees every day. High pressure off to our northwest has our winds out of the north. Very light winds throughout the day today. Hardly a cloud in the sky, and that will remain the case all the way into the upcoming weekend. Let's break it down for you. Look at that clear skies, light east wind in the morning, and then the winds will turn around more to the south over the weekend, and that means our temperatures are going to start to creep up a little bit. We'll break into the 80s here tomorrow, and then on Saturday, starting out with a lot of sunshine, just a few clouds off to the north, but plenty of sunshine, and then on Sunday, We'll see some high clouds come up from the south. That's out of the head uh, next uh, wave of some warmer and more humid air, but we're going to take the rain out of the forecast for Sunday. So Friday, Saturday and Sunday dry, comfortable. It will be nice to head anywhere here in West Michigan. In terms of precipitation, uh, we have very little chance until Monday. You can see all of those chances are pretty small all the way through at least a Wednesday. And in terms of our dew points, when it gets above 60, it's humid. We're going to be in the 60s and 70s starting Monday all the way through the end of the Coast Guard Festival. Temperatures tomorrow will climb up close to 80 plus around the Hart and Ludington, northern part of the Lakeshore Zone, low 80s, Muskegon, Holland, down through South Haven. Uh, crystal clear blue skies, not going to see any of that haze. Uh, forecast up north will be around 83 to 84, light and variable winds throughout the day. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, look at this, a lot of sunshine uh, around 81 in Battle Creek, 82 just about everywhere else with that light south wind and low humidity. 13 on your side forecast. 
Warming up through the weekend. We'll stay in the mid and upper 80s all next week. The difference is the humidity returns late Sunday night. You'll need your air conditioners on uh, all the way through the following Saturday. Best chance for showers and storms will come on Monday and Tuesday. Most of those will be in the inland areas. Lakeshore probably will stay dry and lots of sunshine the Wednesday, the following Thursday. And then heading into the following weekend, we do have a chance of some showers and storms a Friday night into the following Saturday. Uh, but I think they'll be over for all of those festivities that following Saturday. Of course, that's 10 days away, yeah. but you know, it is summertime. But looking at Friday, Saturday and Sunday, it's just a perfect summer weekend. It is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, George.